progress of the Jakarta Bandung Fast Train, Tegalur Station, Saturday, August 3, 2019. Based on the analysis of soil investigations, soil conditions in the outer land are soft soils where the water and air content is more than solid soil particles. Soft soil is a land that does not support the strength of construction, so PTKCIC analyzes, plans, and decides to use the prefabricated vertical drain PVD, and prefabricated horizontal drain PHD, methods as a solution to address the soil's carrying capacity. Technically PVD is vertical bands made of synthetic which are implanted using a crawler crane PVD mounting tool, into soft soil which then the tape functions to absorb water and air in the soil until it comes out to the ground, then PHD functions to absorb and drain water and air which has been ABS. Orbed by the PVD to the waterway that has been provided. In order to be maximum in releasing water and air, the land is burdened in the form of landfills. This process conditions the soil to experience compaction much more quickly than the natural compaction process that takes years. Thus the carrying capacity of compacted land is much better than before and ready for construction. Jakarta Bandung fast train will be connected to Kertajati Airport. The governor of West Java, Ridwan Kamal ensured that the fast train would become a mode of transportation to the West Java International Airport, BIJB, Kertajati, Majalenka. If nothing gets in the way, the construction of this fast train will be built starting in 2021. Emil, his nickname, said that after the construction of the Jakarta Tegalur station, Bandu, fast train was completed in 2021. Then the next stage was the Tegalur BIJB Kertajati fast train station. The matter of the train has been decided that it is a fast train, phase 1 is Jakarta Tegalur, after 2021 stage 2 is Tegalur Kertajati, Emil said at the Pakiran Rajit daily office, Bandu, Thursday, January 8, 2019. In addition to cutting travel time to Kertajati airport, Emil stressed that the development budget would be cheaper and no need to acquire land because it uses land from the Sila Yunyi Sumedang Dawan, Sisumdawa, toll road which is also targeted to be completed by the end of 2020. It will be much cheaper because it already knows the technology, no need to acquire land anymore because it combines the Sisumdawa route directly, he added. Regarding the Sisumdawa toll road, he revealed that the central government will accelerate its development by taking over the project if the private sector is unable to do it faster. Sisumdawu is accelerated, it is possible that the ministry will take over more leverage if the private sector is still working slowly, I will contact the head of the high court to accelerate land acquisition in Sila Yunyi, he said. Emil admitted that his side was optimistic when talking about the future of BIJB Kurtajati. Because various negative issues that occur at this time are only a matter of time. He explained, other new airports in Indonesia also indeed needed two to five years to be able to operate optimally, while BIJB had just turned one year old. I am an optimistic person, if there is negativity it is a matter of time. If you want to be fair, the comparison of the speed of new airports throughout Indonesia takes two to five years. So this big dream is progressing and the decision has been very strategic, he concluded. PT China Indonesia Railway, KCIC, is currently starting construction of the Jakarta Bandung Fast Train Depot. The depot is the first fast train maintenance facility in Southeast Asia. According to the managing director of KCIC, Chandra Dwiputra, the depot was built on 85.4. 4 hectares of land in the Tegalur region, Bandung. The plan is that the depot will have 8 lanes to accommodate 11 train set. Each train set consists of 8 cars. Later two of the 11 train set will be a spare train and a replacement when the main train is undergoing maintenance, he said at the Area Dutta Hotel, Bandung, West Java, Friday, 5 sevenths. According to him, Jakarta Bandung fast train will use the CR400AF technology which is the latest technology fast train developed by the Chinese fast train manufacturer company, CRCC Qingdao Sifang. Later, 
regular maintenance of the CR400AF fast train is carried out every two days after operational hours are over, maintenance includes replacement of spare parts and ultrasonic checking to detect cracks on the train shaft. We are committed to ensuring that the fastest mass transportation modes in Indonesia prioritize security, Chandra said. Going forward, the Tegalur depot will be developed to serve more complex maintenance, such as train maintenance after reaching more than 3 million km or equivalent to 5 years. The fast train depot is estimated to be able to accommodate the maintenance of all train units, at least 2,400 times a year, he said. Managing Director of PT China's China Fast Train, Chandra Dwiputra said that of the 13 tunnels, only one has been penetrated for this year. Now the project is already 23%. So it is still on the track then if we have 13 tunnels, which are already translucent. One hopefully this year there will be one more breakthrough. The one that penetrated a lot next year, said Chandra Dwiputra in Hotel Area Dutta, Bandung. May 7, 2019. Chandra assured that out of 142.3 kilometers of fast train tracks, there were 140 points which had started work simultaneously at a point that did not require relocation. From 142.3 km, more than 50% or about 83 kilometers of the construction structure of the Jakarta, Bandung fast train project consists of elevated and bridge construction. The longest elevated construction stretches for 36 km starting from Bikesai Regency to Karawang Regency. This structure has at least 45 continuous beams with the longest continuous beam stretch of 72-128-72. Half of the longest elevated structures will be connected at the end of 2019. A total of 2,078 box girder to complete the elevated structure will be supplied by the three casting yards of the Bandung Jakarta fast train, one of which is the largest in Indonesia. On the other hand, the construction points of the Jakarta Bandung fast train continue to be accelerated including Tegalur Station, Tunnel 6, Inlet and Outlet, Sakamuning Bridge, Bridge of Elevated Simahi, Tunnel 11, Tunnel 8, Tunnel 1 Halim, DK28 Casting Yard, Batching Plant DK94. The girder factory around the Kopo Toll Gate is one of the girder beam production locations of the three factories built by PTKCIC. Other girder factories are located around the former Sakarang Udamat Toll Gate, and another in Purwakarta. The factory will supply the girder for the needs of the train line. Of the 142.3 kilometers, more than 50% or around 83 kilometers of the construction structure of the Jakarta Bandung fast train project consist of floating and bridge construction. The longest floating construction will stretch for 36 kilometers starting from Bikesai Regency to Karawang Regency. Half of the longest floating structures will be connected at the end of 2019. To meet those needs, 2,078 girder beams are prepared to complete the floating structure. Production capacity, which is in Sakarang Udama 900, this, Bandu, 600, Urwakarta around 550 girder, he said. On the rest of the hilly land, the train track is built through a tunnel. On the other hand, said Chandra, the construction points of the Bandung Jakarta fast train continue to be accelerated such as Tegalur Station, Tunnel 6, Inlet and Outlet, Tunnel 11, 8 and 1 Halim, DK28 Casting Yard, DK94 Batching Plant, Bridge on the Sakamuning Line, and Bridge of Simahi. We are preparing Tegalur. There is another train. So go up to Bandung, then change trains again, to downtown. Currently the investment is being processed. That, handling the train to the city center, in front of that is PT Kai, he said. At present, he said, a variety of fast train infrastructure facilities have also begun to be massively built. The Jakarta Bandung Fast Train Depot which is a fast train maintenance facility is one of them. In an area of 85.44 hectares, this depot will be built in the Tegalur area. 
This depot is designed to have 8 lines to accommodate 11 sets of Jakarta Bandung fast trains. Each circuit will have 8 trains. Later, two of the 11 train sets will become reserve trains and replacement trains when the main train is undergoing maintenance, he said.